Hey guys, and welcome to the last in my prehistoric mammal series. We finished this up with the Terror Bird. He sits here at approximately $25. So basically, we'll be facing 11 different units today whose values vary mostly from $20 to $25. There's one exception, which is the Cryolophosaurus at $32. Thought I'd throw that one in there to see if he can take him on. But anyway, guys, let's see if this guy can be less disappointing than the majority of the rest of this faction's unfortunately been. Let's go! Right, first up, we have the Saltwater Crocodile at $22. So three dollars less than the uh, Terror Bird. Again with the Terror Bird. Saw him in the uh, in the factions battle I tried in my very first video of the prehistoric mammals. Didn't really see what I did to be fair because I was focusing on the bigger units at that point because he was dying quite quickly because obviously he's the cheapest. But let's see if he can beat this Saltwater Crocodile. He should be able to beat him. He's got the uh, got the value on his side. That peck from his beak's looking pretty vicious there. But is it vicious enough? Looks like the Saltwater Crocodile can't get near him. He's put him down, boys. We start with a win. This is a nice little bonus for the uh, the prehistoric mammal faction. Look at that little cocky little orc. He's like, yeah, boy. Smashed it, smashed it. Good work, mister. One win under the belt. Next up, the $25 Komodo dragon. Gotta be honest, this guy, I don't remember him being this small. I thought he was bigger than this, but he looks tiny against the Terror Bird. I'll be honest, Terror Bird loses this guy. Should be embarrassed. Admittedly, same cost, but look at that. He can pick him up quite easily. Like, size-wise, massive disadvantage. Oh, that's him. Embarrassing. Oh my god, this is it me or is this faction so ridiculously weak? The Komodo just destroyed him. Now he's walking off with a little swag. Look at his little swag, boys. Yeah, boy. Put him down. Yeah, boy. Put him down. Okay. Loss for this guy. Please be better in, in your future battles, buddy. A strange one here. A $20 Hussar. Can he beat him as well? I feel like if he gets a good spike on him early doors. Oh man. He's got the horse. He's got the horse by the butt. He's got the horse by the butt. But equally, he's getting kicked the hell out of. What the hell? This is the most weird thing I've ever seen. This guy is literally killing the horse butt first. Go on, horse. Have him. Have him, horse. Do you know what? Screw this. You bite him on the arse. You're gonna, you deserve to get a... Just, oh, he's put him down! Legendary horse. Again, what can I say, though? $20 unit has, again, put down a $25 unit. These guys must be the weakest dollar for dollar of any faction on this game, I reckon, so far. It's the turn of the knockout artist griller. Again, just $20. This guy is not faring well so far. He's lost to a couple of units already who are cheaper than him. He's not a great, he's not a great knight so far, to be honest. Let's hope he can put him down. Okay, that was that was quicker. Better. You are still underwhelming, but at least you put the knockout dragon down. Knockout dragon? He is not a knockout dragon. The knockout gorilla even. Get your swag on, buddy, because you're gonna probably get beaten again next match. Let's see. Next up, $20 blade worm from the invertebrates faction. Size-wise, I can't, can't really gauge this one, God knows, to be honest. I feel like the Blade Worm might take this one. But again, $20 versus $25, he shouldn't. Oh, he's not dead, I thought he's, he's played dead for a second there. Caught our uh, little Terror Bird friend off guard, maybe. He's still not done, again, playing dead. Who is getting the damage in here? It's hard to gauge who's, who's on top here at all. This is a long old battle compared to the previous ones. Has he got him down? Has he got him down? Nope, they're still both playing dead. Who is going to win this one, guys? This is a this is a 50 50 -er. It's the longest battle we've had so far. Blade Worm going purely for the chest. Is he finishing this time? No! Again, thought he was dead. Now he is. Terrible, two wins in a row. Equally, both were $20 units. Come on then, Crylophosaurus. Let's see what you've got, boyo. Much like against the Deodon. I'm trying to set this guy up for a fall, I think. But I don't think it's going to happen. Surely the Crylophosaurus is going to destroy this guy in a matter of seconds. He really should do. He really, really should do. Again, Crylophosaurus, much like against the dead on. You lose this one, buddy. Oh, that's embarrassing. Can I just point out how unbelievably unpredictable all the units are in this, uh, this faction? Just beat people they shouldn't beat. His face is at all. That's one massive. No! Coming from his face right there. You should be, you've should be. you been ruined, buddy. A $25 poor unit has taken your $32 butt down. Shame on you. You're still not one of my favourites. $22 Skeleton Warrior next. I would imagine Skeleton Warrior is going to die very quick here. My general view of this one is he will not last long at all. But, you know, God knows. Much like with, I said this entire faction from the previous battle, you never know, you're just not going to get. Every single battle is just not where you expect it to be at all. I can't believe you put the Crylophosaurus down. $32. Makes no sense whatsoever. And now he's lost to a, 20, now he's lost to a $22 unit. I, see what I mean? Like, every battle is just entirely random now. I just... I'm confused, guys. I'm confused. A $20 slow-mo. My guess would be, if he doesn't kill him with his first shot, he's going to lose the battle, and this is probably an unfair one to put the slow-mo into. But let's see. $20. Is one shot enough? No, you're screwed. You're going to run and die now. Yep. <laughs> that was a point. Oh, no, he's up again. But he's going to run, so he's going to die whatever. Unless he gets a shot in. Nah. Mate, just die. You're just done. You're done. 
pointless battle. No real gains there at all for Mr. Terrorbird. An easy win. Could be argued this is also another pointless one. Cross Barnico should kill with one shot here. The shot gets pulled off. No, now you're going to die as well because you're going to run too. But you know what? I hate these running units. I really do. They're just the most pointless features of a game. Anything that runs away when it gets anyone close to it just defeats the purpose of being on the game. Again, easy win. Strut yourself, boy, because that's the end of the human units. And now you're going to probably get wrecked twice in a row. Next up, we have the Hippopotamus. $22. I feel like he could cause a mushies though, I don't know again, god knows, but I feel like he's gonna, I don't know, I feel like he's got a decent amount of health, but he also runs if he gets too damaged, too hurt, which again, would be three units in a row that run when they get attacked, so we'll see. Can he blag himself a win against the Terror Bird? I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna. No! Okay. I mean, he's beating someone who's cheaper than him again, so, you know, not a massively satisfactory win. But a win is a win, buddy, so GG's. And finally, Mr. Rhinoceros. Now, surely the Rhinoceros, even being $3 cheaper, is going to stab him up a bit with that horn. Cause him some issues. Come on, Rhinoceros, have him, buddy. Have him. Put him down. Most of these videos in this whole series have ended with the, uh, the, new, the new unit dying. So, let's continue that trend, shall we? Or he end in a glorious strut this time, just for once. Is it going to be Pool of Blood or Glorious Strut, buddy? The next few seconds will tell us all. The Rhino's given his all, but who's going to be the winner? That's the question. Oh, he's going to end it with a Glorious Strut. He's put him down. Swag that little booty of yours out of here, buddy. You've got your win. Okay, I still don't rate this unit. He still lost to a few units, units less than him. Still feels very unpredictable as per the entire faction. But guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you rate him or do you hate him? That's a good little rhyme, wasn't it? Do you rate him or hate him? That's the question. Um, I don't, I don't think I quite hate him, but I don't rate him either. He's got, a, he's got a cool walk. I'm loving his walk. You want a bit of like Saturday Night Fever playing along to that walk, and then he's, you know, he's, he's all sorted. He's got the swag, but I'm not sure he's got, got the ability. But anyway, guys, that is the end of my prehistoric mammal kind of test run playthrough, whatever you want to call it. I will be doing some more. I've got a lot of videos lined up for ARVs. I've got some great ideas coming very soon where you guys will have to create some of your own units as well to get involved in some interesting battles. So that will be coming soon, so keep an eye on my channel for that. Until next time, guys, please make sure you smash like on the channel, hit subscribe if you are new here. And until next time, guys, thanks ever so much for coming along and watching this one. Cheers all, bye!